Hi, and thanks for logging on to the Daily Dvar. And here's a brand new halacha for you. And it's for Sunday, the third day of October. Here we go. Hope you had a very, very meaningful Yom Tov. And now some laws that you need to know for the days coming up. First of all, your ass rogue. Uh, I hope you didn't throw it in the trash. You know, a general rule always is that you're never allowed to waste food. And after Sukkot is over, an esrog is a bona fide piece of food. It's a fruit. The brach on it would be bore pri ha'etz, if you ate it straight. Um, there are ways to turn it into jelly. Um, there are some people who know how to turn it into liquor. Uh, and you might want to speak to your rabbi about what brachas uh, it will have in what format, it, whatever you make it into. But do not throw it away. Some people keep it and use it as a besamim. Uh, holder, but uh, we won't get into a description of how that's done. Ask people if they can be turned into besamim things, and they never rot. They are absolutely an amazing fruit. Now your lulav and your hadasim and aravas, they too should not be thrown out, not because they're edible, but because they were used for a mitzvah, and uh, it would be wonderful. We always like to say that something that was used for a mitzvah, let's continue it and try to have it be used for more mitzvahs. So here's a way that you could use it for a mitzvah. What you could do is save them, put them away somewhere so that they'll be available all the way until Erev Pesach, which sounds like a million years away, it's only half a year away. And on Erev Pesach, when it's uh, a mitzvah to burn things, uh, and you need to burn your chametz, and you need fuel to burn your chametz with, you can burn it with uh, newspapers, dried out lulavs, hadasim, and aravos, etc., so they can be put into the fire of the chametz burning. So please note that also. Please remember also that you are now saying mashiv haruach in your Shemona Esrei uh, all the time. If you forget, you have to repeat the Shemona Esrei. If, by the way, you forget but you remember it while you're still in the paragraph and you haven't said the next bracha, then you're still eligible to insert it. Uh, just go back and put it where it belongs and continue. Um, because Mashiv Baruch can always be inserted while you're still in that same bracha. Once you've said Baruch HaTah Hashem Mechaya HaMesim, it's too late, and then you would have to repeat the Shemona Esri. Thanks for logging on. Log on again tomorrow for more. Bye-bye.